There are some birds here all year round. It may vary by season, but there are always birds. But butterflies are strictly a summertime thing, and you have to strike while the iron is hot. And we really enjoy photographing and videoing butterflies. And we're going to show you some of uh, the ones that visit our backyard. Well, the way you get butterflies in the yard to photograph is to plant what they like to eat. And Mary Pat has found a couple of plants that uh, they really enjoy. One is the butterfly bush, which you're looking at right here. And that seems to attract all sorts of butterflies. And the other one is what's known as the Mexican sunflower, or tithonia. And uh, that one attracts all butterflies, but it really seems to be one of the best things for getting monarchs, though the butterfly bush works too for that. But of course, they will eat other things. I mean, you can see this uh, zebra swallowtail butterfly is feasting on lantana, uh, which is a particularly pretty flower, I think. And um, over here, you can see that we've got another yellow swallowtail, and it's drinking nectar from a lily. Photographing or videoing birds certainly has its challenges. I'm not going to try to minimize them. But you've got some things in your favor. Uh, generally, we get birds on feeders. And that means that we can control things. We can bring the birds to us. We can shoot from a more sheltered environment. You can control your shots. Uh, there's, there's a lot you can do, uh, even though you still need to find that beautiful shot that you want to get. But when you're after butterflies, it's a whole different game because they wait for no man. And Mary Pat has to chase them all around the garden and uh, hope that they will sit still long enough for her to get a decent shot, which is not easy, let me tell you, because some of them spook pretty quickly when they see you trying to get close to them. And you're shooting generally from a very close distance with macro lenses, so it can be quite a challenge to get a decent shot. If you want to get good photographs of butterflies, uh, the equipment you really need is a digital single lens reflex camera with a pretty decent macro lens. And you're better off with a short zoom. Uh, this one's a, a 24 to 70. Uh, than you are with a longer zoom because it gives you a closer uh, focusing distance and you're going to need to really get right on top of these butterflies to get really dramatic shots so that's the kind of gear that we use getting good butterfly video is not easy at least it's not for me and I have found that a, uh, a video camcorder like this one uh, even an excellent one and this one is an excellent one uh, is not the best tool but if it's all you've got, you're much better off with one like this that has an actual eyepiece viewfinder instead of just the, the LED screen. Uh, but I just find that it's too hard to get good butterfly shots with this because it really lacks the macro capability that you need. So for, for butterfly video, what I prefer to use is a digital single lens reflex camera, just like you would use to photograph them. Because you've got to do the same thing. You've got to get right up on top of them. And you want to fill the frame. Uh, and a good macro lens on a DSLR that has video capability is the way to go. Now, the problem with using a DSLR for video is that the mirror flips up and you can't use the viewfinder, right? Because you're continuously uh, streaming light onto the sensing plate. So you have to use the, the LED... Um, view window in the back of the camera and for me that's very difficult to do critical focusing on especially if it's bright sunshine because the bright sunshine tends to wash out that picture so what I do is I use a Zacuto system and that system is composed of uh, two parts so here it is all put together the Zacuto system the the part to your right uh, that's on the bottom that screws into your into your camera base uh, basically in the tripod screw slot area 
and you line it up so that that screen is over the screen of uh, your LED viewfinder in the back of the camera. And once you've done that, then you can use the IP section. And that gives you 2.5 magnification that cuts off all of the extraneous light and it allows you to do any focusing you have to do because most DSLRs won't autofocus in video mode. You have to manually focus, so that makes it work. So that allows you to get right on the butterfly with your macro lens and take these nice close-up detailed shots. And uh, that way you can see it clearly through the viewfinder and you can keep everything in focus. But I'll tell you, it's a challenge. Now these swallowtails, uh, they're not bad to shoot. I mean, they're not as shy as, say, the monarchs are. All butterflies are beautiful. And they're all fun to shoot, regardless of what type they are. They all have their own interesting characteristics, and we certainly like going after all of them. But there is no doubt that the top of the heap is the monarch butterfly. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's big, showy, colorful. Uh, not only are the wings colorful, but the body is with the black body and white uh, white dots on it. And it's just the most fun to shoot. Now, this year, the monarchs are kind of sparse for us, which is unusual. Usually by August, we have lots and lots of them. But this year, they're a little bit on the rare side. So when we find them, we photograph them, and we're happy that we've got them. The monarchs have been very difficult to video because they're so shy. Uh, you saw when I did the swallowtail, I could get right up on them and get these great macro views. And every time I tried to get close to a monarch, it just took off. You know, and they'll wait for you to leave before they come back. So it's been a challenge to get these shots. But even though they're not the best... I think they're still they're still kind of pretty. You can see this guy working the blooms pretty well, and uh, you know he might be hiding a little bit right now, but we'll get another little look at him in a minute, and then he'll be gone. So enjoy it. And off he goes. He's going to take off right now, never to be seen again. Well, we hope you enjoyed Mary Pat's photography and my videos on this look at the butterflies in our backyard. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch the next installment that we put out. Because there's always something happening back there. That's the beauty of nature. So see you next time.